All right, welcome to line 30 in your standard of excellence red book. This is going to be the warm up. Notice that all of these, notice that you have a new note and that pretty much everything in here is going to be a half note. So it's a little bit easier. So everyone needs to look on line 30 at the left hand side and it's going to give you the new note plus your fingering. Now, if you play trumpet or trombone, you've actually seen that fingering before. The only difference is that it takes a little bit more air to play that high. So if you play clarinet, you're looking at second space A. This note, now you won't, this note is fingered with just this key. And you're actually going to use this part of your finger. And that's going to hit it. Now the temptation on clarinet is going to be just to place your finger. But that's going to make it harder when you need to play fast. So you want to take this part of your knuckle and you're just going to place it there. In theory, if you wanted to, your fingers should be able to lay down like your uh, middle finger and your ring finger on your left hand should be able to be placed down. I'm not going to make you do that because that'd be weird for later on. But in theory, you can have those two down and play that note. It does change the pitch a little bit, but it, not too much. So now, if you play a brass instrument, that new note is going to be, for trumpets, the same as E, fingered one and two, but your new note is going to be called A, same as clarinet. For trombone, your new note is going to be called G, and that G is going to be in fourth position. Remember that fourth position is just a little bit past the bell. Now, we're going to count and finger the first four measures. One, two, ready, go. One, three, one, rest, rest. One, three, one, All right. Now that was a little bit brisker. We're going to take it down just a little bit. And we're going to play the first four measures. Notice that in measures one and two, it goes up. And in measures three and four, it goes down. One, two, and ready. <laughs> That was the first four measures. Now, this is not a particularly hard line. It's just all about getting used to playing up higher, using your air pressure. Now, I'm going to play that again, only on clarinet, and we're going to do just the first four measures. One, two, first four measures. Use your air and... making sure that you take the two beats of rest there, and that'll be good. We are now going to play the entire line. It's not a particularly hard line. It's a bunch of half notes. I'm going to say, once you get to the end of measure four, where we have those two beats of rest, you're going to want to take a big breath. I know when I play trombone, I have to take a big breath, and I'm going to play this one on trombone. All right. Your instrument should be up to your face, and we are going to play all through warm-up line 30. One, two, line 30. Now, if you're running out of air there towards the end, make sure to take the breath in between measures six and seven. I don't think I did that. I think I did something weird, but that's okay. We all need to breathe when we have to breathe. So the other thing that's in that last measure is a fermata. Since we are virtual, just hold it out for four beats, but that should be good. And that is your new note in warm-up line 30.